Hi everyone, this is a question from B4 and is asking you about enzyme activity. For this question, it's really important that you can understand what the graph is showing you. So on the x-axis, you can see that temperature is increasing. And on the y-axis, you can see that enzyme activity increases as it goes up. So what we can now see is we've got two lines plotted on that graph, enzyme A and enzyme B. And each of those two enzymes has a different temperature at which it has the highest enzyme activity. For enzyme A, that point is here. And for enzyme B, that point is here. And we would call this its optimum temperature. Corrine suggests that one of the enzymes is from a bacterium that lives in hot springs at 80 degrees and the other enzyme is from a bacterium that lives in the sea at 14 degrees. She decides that enzyme A comes from the bacterium that lives in the sea and the question is asking you to explain why her conclusion is correct and the stem word of that question is explain. So the first thing that you need to do is understand that the optimum temperature for enzyme A is much below that of enzyme B. In fact, if you draw a dotted line down, you can see it's certainly beneath 20 degrees, which would fit with Corrine's explanation that it would be in the C, which is around 14 degrees there um, in that particular example. Okay, so there are two marks available for this particular question. The first mark you can gain simply by making the link that the C is colder and enzyme A seems to be working more, uh, has more activity at, um, at a lower temperature. So that's the first thing that you can say. The second thing that you can say is actually describe the meaning of that. So you need to explain that the optimum temperature means that it's actually working fastest at that temperature. Perhaps you could say that after this temperature, it's going to uh, begin to denature, so the enzymes are working less effectively. And before this temperature, um, you're seeing an increase in the rate of reaction as the molecules speed up as they gain in kinetic energy. So, for two marks, first thing that we're going to say is so the C is colder and enzyme A works better at lower temperatures and the optimum activity of A falls above 14 degrees C. Okay, this is a slightly more uh, complex question. Um, she's now had a go with a third enzyme and she's tested that enzyme at temperatures between 0 and about 80 degrees. The question states that at the end of the experiment, so the, the enzyme would have been heated up to uh, this temperature here, and she then takes it out and she cools it. So she does then cool it right back down to begin the experiment again. She takes the same sample of enzymes, so she's using the same enzyme that was used in this experiment at this high temperature. She also gives some fresh substrate so that won't be a limiting factor. There will still be, still be substrate for it to break down. The question is to describe and explain what the graph of enzyme activity will look like. So, if we have a situation where there is um, a, a, an enzyme which has been heated up to a very high temperature and then allowed to cool, you will find that that enzyme's active site, this part here, may well have changed. This means it's denatured. Now if it's denatured, it's no longer going to work. It will no longer fit like lock and key uh, with the substrate and therefore you will see absolutely no enzyme activity at all. So, the line will be flat. This is my description, my describe. 
because the enzyme has been denatured so the substrate no longer fits with the active site. That part here is my explanation. So I've included both parts of the question. Made with DoodleCast Pro.